Abdullah ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhuma. We know him to be a great mufassir, somebody whose tafsir is accepted by everybody. Ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhuma. How old was he when the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam passed away? Some say he was a youngster, roughly 10, 11, 12, roughly there. Abdullah ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhuma, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made dua for him. And he asks Allah to grant this youngster understanding of the deen. Allahumma faqihhu fi deen wa allimhu at ta'wil. Also, you find that there's a hadith where Ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhu, he says that I was with the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he was performing the night prayer. When he was performing the night prayer, what does that mean? There was interaction. The younger generation were being trained. They had exposure to the leader at their, uh, 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 the leader at their time, who was Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Eventually, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, towards the end of his life, the verse is revealed, إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ Umar radiallahu anhu, and we all know who he is, Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu, he used to gather with some of the seniors from the Sahaba, some of the seniors from the Quraysh as well as the Ansar. And he used to come with this young boy. Who was he? Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu. And some of the elders at the time, they said, Oh Umar, why do you bring this youngster to our gathering? And Umar radiallahu anhu tells them, he has certain knowledge that you yourselves don't have. And then he asked them the question. He says, what do you interpret the verse wherein Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ What's your interpretation? So the people, the seniors, the elders who were around, they gave a general explanation. And then he says, Abdullah ibn Abbas addressing him, he says, what is your interpretation, O Ibn Abbas? And Abdullah ibn Abbas anhu says, I think that this surah signals that the life of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam is going to come to an end. Look at how, number one, he knew the answer. And our point being, look at how this youngster was able to interact with the elders and the elders interacted with him.